Hello there, I am KX90. Welcome to this episode, Airbit 3D Printed Frame Do-It-Yourself Video. First of all, we need to go to the webpage shown on the screen right now, then click on Files slash Download. Then click on Airbit, then click on 3D Files. Now, this step might change in the future, but for now, mark the Airbit frame STL file, then click download. Click on save or save file and it will be downloaded and located in your download folder. From the download folder, you have to extract the file you downloaded to another folder. You do this by right click onto the file then click extract to airbit frame stl and it will create a new folder with the file you need. Open the folder, click on files and the file you need is right there. Then open a new window in your browser and type in the web page shown on the screen right now. Click on create new design then click on import. Go back to the folder with the Airbit frame STL file, then drag the file onto the screen with the import option on Tinkicad. Let go of left click and click on import. The Airbit frame will be imported to the Tinkicad program and the editing can begin. Now make sure that the frame is level as I do now before we begin. We're gonna start with the polygon shape and make four of the landing gear holders. The exact measurement will be shown on the screen right now. Align the polygon shape as you see fit onto the airbit frame, but make sure that it doesn't crash with the already existing hole for the nuts. The next thing we're doing is to use a cylinder shape and the exact measurement of this will be shown on the screen right now. This is the landing legs for the airbit. Then use the cylinder shape once again, only this time it's for the holes underneath the polygon shape to make room for the landing legs. Press hole not solid to create a hole in the polygon shape. Make sure that the polygon shape has enough space to the sides after the cylinder shape is in place, for it to be strong enough to withstand pressure. Now we're gonna make a name tag and to do that take the round roof shape and the exact measurements will be shown on the screen right now.
make sure that the name tag is placed exactly like this if you are gonna copy my way of doing it, otherwise it will crash with the Airbit Microbit card. And now we're going to use the text box to create text for the round roof shape. Basically, you can write whatever you want as long as it fits inside the name tag we just created. But for this particular object, I'm going to write the name of the Airbit and my nickname below it. The measurements will rely on what you write in the text box, but the exact ones for my object will be shown on the screen right now. Again, use the whole function, not the solid one. This is to make the text go inside the shape of the round roof, not outside. Then we're gonna create another polygon shape to place in front of the name tag. The idea behind this is to make space for some small LED diodes. And this is on the one we're making right now and also on the top of the four landing gears. How to do this will be shown in another video. Next thing I'm creating is just an extra feature that you can decide yourself if you want to create. It is meant as a lifting platform below the airbit connected with a small rope to the airbit frame. This is to carry small objects for fun or competition.
Now, all you have to do is to go back to the homepage on Tinkercad, then create a name for the project, go back, click on it, then download as a STL file for 3D printing, save and it will be downloaded to your download folder. Then open whatever program you are using for your 3D printer, drag the file into the program, let go of left click, make the adjustments you want and you are ready to 3D print the object. Here is the original Airbit frame that you can buy from Makeit or a retail place near you. I will try to print my own propeller protectors but that's for another video. And here is my 3D printed version of the Airbit frame with the landing gear. There is more text on my version than the one I've created for you now, but it's all the same principles that are used in this video. As you can see, it looks nice and the landing legs is detachable and easy to click in place. And here's my prototype for the propeller protectors and the idea is that all you have to do to attach it is to remove the propeller Squeeze the protector in place, adjust the angle, attach the propeller, and there you go. To remove the propeller protectors, you just reverse the process and you're good to go. The remote controller is the same one you use for the original airbeat. You can even use the same code, but make sure that only one of the airbeats are turned on at the same time. It all works perfectly fine. Don't believe me? Oh, well, let's have a look then, shall we? You see? It's perfect, and by the way, if you don't know how to do the coding part, have a look at one of my previous videos and I will explain it for you there. It is quite easy to modify the Airbit frame with the Tinkercad program, and it was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, I am KX90, see you later.